everybody. Welcome to Broadway.com's Live at Five. It is Tuesday, April 24th, and I am Ryan Lee Gilbert. And I am Beth Stevens. And we are joined here in the studio, as always, by Mr. Matt Roden. Hi, everybody. How long can I like make that go on? <laughs> that, was that was good. That was great. <laughs> that was enough. And we have a wonderful guest with we us today, do. Beth. Ben Thompson is here. Waitress. Waitress. And which? It's waitress's birthday, which means Look at birthday that. pie. Look at that. Yeah, birthday where's we should have got yeah, pie. We should have gotten pie. <laughs> yes. Pie. Two years ago, waitress opened yes. on Broadway. And that's what we'll be talking to Ben about and more. But first, Matt, why don't you tell us about today's top five? All right, so obviously the big news today, uh, Outer Critics Circle nominations came out this morning, Beth. That's right. The Outer Critics Circle. Circle Award nominations. I don't know who they are. They're in the outer. Who are they're those in the outer, outer critics? Outer, the outer <laughs> critics. Here's the big news. Okay, uh, Sp SpongeBob SquarePants, super fan right here. Yes. That heads a list with eleven nominations. Eleven. That's a lot of it's nominations. Incredible. And Harry Potter, right behind it with ten. My Fair Lady with. How many? Nine. Nine. It's a lot. Yeah. Now I just want to clarify for people: the band's visit not eligible this year. Because it was off Broadway last like year. Like Dear Evan right. Hansen. Same Just thing. Just like Dear Evan Hansen. Yep. It happens every year. Um, and with Hamilton, too, that Hamilton, happened. Hamilton, absolutely. Uh, yeah. So Katrina Lank and Jen Colella announced it. So Katrina Super Lank could adorable. be like, I'm still here, but we're not <laughs> eligible. Um, some interesting things. Should we talk about the interesting things? Absolutely. Yes. All these people got a lot. And then... Some people did not get some. some. There were some, some notable some things, snubs. Yeah, some, some things left out. There were out. a couple of things that like, I was a little surprised by. Like, where's Denzel Washington? No Denzel? People. He's doing a Iceman cometh five He's hours. He's doing five hours of a meal. Yeah. <laughs> Give the guy a break. God. Where is he? But I also want to say, um, the outer critics sometimes, in some categories, mixes the Broadway with the off-Broadway. Off they do, yes. Which means, you know, just there's staged. not always room yeah. for everybody. No. It's interesting. Yeah, and lots yeah. of good stuff this year. Lots so. of good stuff. Harry Potter got a score nomination. Super cool. Oh, I mean, Girls? Right. Imogen Heap. Imogen Heap. Yes. Yes. Cool. Yeah. But yes. no Mean Girls but no score. Mean Girls. So, you know. Did they get choreography? Did they, Harry Potter get a choreography? It did. Nominated? For it did. Stephen right. Hoggett. So, mm -hmm. great stuff. Yeah. Good long list. Go look at Broadway.com because I can't possibly recount it all for you now. Um, we also got casting this morning for King Kong. Very exciting. Yes. Yeah. So uh, King Kong is coming here soon. And we found out that Christiani Pitts, who's currently starring in A Bronx Tale on Broadway, will be starring as Anne Darrow. You know, the one. That, the one. The one that the gorilla becomes very attracted to, picks very her up, all it. of that. And the Eric William Morris, who is just in, who is on Broadway in Corum Boy and Mamma Mia, of course, will be playing Carl Denham. Um, so those are our big stars. As previously announced, King Kong will begin previews at the Broadway Theater on October 5th. It will open on November 8th. Book by Jack Thorne, speaking of Harry, Harry Potter, Potter and the Cursed yeah. Child. Um, you have music from Marius DeVries and Eddie Perfect, uh, which is, you know, it's a perfect last name. And direction <laughs> by Drew McConey. I'm um, sure he's never heard that. Yeah, I know. No one's ever made that joke. You're welcome. <laughs> um, very cool, though. Very More excited. casting. More casting for halftime uh, at Paper Mill. But this, was she, go ahead. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Donna McKechnie. Yes. Tony winner, the original Cassie from Chorus Line, as if I, as if, as if I need to tell you that. She's okay. joining this great show, Halftime. Did she do it, but she didn't do it in Chicago? I think she's a new addition. I believe she is as well. So she's joining uh, Andre De Shields, Georgia Engel, Lilius. my favorite, Lilius White. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Lilius, I know you're watching. Um, this is an amazing yeah. show. It was originally called Gotta Dance, or as our news writer, Andy Lefkowitz, wrote, Nay, Gotta Dance, like it was born that way. Yeah, I was like, what, was, what does Nay mean? Yeah. Nay means born. Okay. You're welcome. Mm. For those of you who don't, didn't take French in high school like mm. I did, no. uh, this begins previews on May 31st. <laughs> Open night is June 12th. And I will also say this is Jerry Mitchell choreographing for Donna McKechnie. Yes, directing I, and choreographing. Direct, and directing, of course. Yeah. This is Bob Martin of Drowsy Chaperone. Fame, mm. uh, Chad Bagellon, Matt Sklar, and Nell Benjamin. So it's an it's, a, it's an A team. A -team. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. It it'll is. be fun. Um, Beast in the Jungle, which hasn't even begun performances yet, already got an extension. Yeah, that's that's how you know you got a good thing on your hands right there. <laughs> this is obviously this is at the Vineyard Theater from Susan Stroman. Um, it in, is initially slated to run through June 10th, but it will now play through June 17th. It'll begin previews on May 4th, and it will open on May 23rd. We got Tony Yazbek in there. Super excited about yeah. this one. We did a feature on it not too long ago in the Broadway.com show. If you haven't checked that out yet, Do learn so. what it's all about. Do it. Yeah. 
And last but not least, uh, Donna Summer. Summer, the Donna Summer musical. How many times can I say summer? Oh, wow. Open last night, <laughs> and uh, we got some good stuff. Right. So first of all, LaShawn's. LaShawn's, LaShawn's is back. LaShawn's is back on Broadway where she belongs, <laughs> yes. as well as Ariana DeBose mm-hmm. and Storm, Storm Lever. Um, Matt Roden, Mr. Matt Roden. That's me. Mm-hmm. You did the hustle with these people. Oh, my God. Yeah. There is some <laughs> So we have, we have some yes. exclusive portraits that are gorgeous. We have some open night coverage. And we also have Matt. Matt doing the hustle. Doing the bump. The stars. Doing the hustle. I mean, and first nighters. Of and Sergio <laughs> Trujillo put you through your pieces. Yes, he did. He was like, okay, spin, spin. Okay, now I'm going to dip you. It was like, okay. That's what you get. <laughs> That's what you get. Did you yes. have music while you were dancing? Or? Nope. Okay. Cool. What? Which is weird because they all kind of danced on the beat, like uh, like to the rhythm of the song. It was just impromptu, yeah. no music. Yeah. I was just like, let's do some disco, and they were like, okay. You really yeah. put them through their paces on those red carpet challenges. That's <laughs> right. I didn't want it to be like a like it's a, a quiz. challenge. It is a challenge. Point, it's a challenge. It is a challenge. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. Yeah. Thank you so much, Beth. Because you have a great. We have to talk here. to Ben Thompson. Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit about today's guest? Oh, I would love to. Ben Thompson made his Broadway debut in American Idiot. Going on to star and holler if you hear me is Griffey. He originated the role of the escape artist in Matilda, later taking over the role of Miss Trunchable herself, his herself. And now he's down at the diner eight times a week in Broadway's Waitress, and that is what he is here to talk about today. And it's two-year birthday. Um, not of him, of the, the, the he's show. He's a little older than that. Uh, Your beard. Yeah, and now uh, here is Ryan and Ben. Hello there, <laughs> hey, Oh, wait a second. If you have questions for Ben, yeah, cut back to me. If you have questions for Ben, you leave them in the comment section below right now, and we get to as many as we possibly can. And now, here's Ryan and Ben. Hello there, sir. I feel like one of those Westworld robots <laughs> in my perfect. loop, just saying hello to you here. I need hello. to get back into it. Hi, how are you? Um, good first of all, happy, good to see you as well. Happy two years Thanks. over there at Waitress. Yeah, it's been uh, five weeks for me, but yeah, like two right. years yes. for the show, and it's just, um, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It still feels like it's brand new. Yeah. Them. No, I mean, the, I love that show. We were, we were joking around. Anytime we have anyone from Waitress here in yeah, the building, Stephanie I automatically, like, I'm involved. I watched, I I watched love, Tornzy on I here. I love that show. How amazing She's incredible. is Stephanie Tornzy? She's incredible. She's and the nuts. fact that, like, those people who got to see her do it for those five weeks mm-hmm. really love Yeah, out. she's incredible. She's unbelievable. So you've had three Jennas. In, you've had, yeah, in yeah. five weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, when you first started, Sarah Bareilles was still on the show, who will be hosting the Tony Awards, which Unreal. is super awesome with Josh Unreal. Groban. It's so, so exciting. exciting. Um, and now, then you had Stephanie, and now you have Kat, Kat McPhee. McPhee. making her debut. Absolutely. How how are things going with She's Kat amazing. McPhee? She's amazing. Yeah. I mean, like, we all know her for her voice, and, mm-hmm. you know, if you've seen her on Smash, and as obviously as a lot of people... all of you have, yes. <laughs> ...here at Broadway.com have seen her. Um, you know what she's capable of, but to get to see her in an intimate setting like the Brooks, mm-hmm. and get to see her, you know, opposite Caitlin and Natasha and Drew, and it's... She's really... She she belongs on Broadway. Yeah, she no. belongs on Broadway. Our sure. our editor in chief Paul he went for her opening night and he came back and only had raves for her. It was she's like, she's already a natural. Yeah, yeah. well, it was so funny because during rehearsal she's like, I'm just I'm I'm nervous I'm nervous, and then you know like a consummate Broadway vet, mm-hmm. the spotlight came on. And it was like, where are the nerves? Yeah, you know, it is. she's fantastic. She's great to act with. Mm-hmm. Great scene partner. Always honest. Always listening. So it's fun. It's really been, um, it's been exciting. Yeah, and she's the Jenna I got the most rehearsal with too. Other than oh, Stephanie, true. right? Stephanie, I rehearsed because she was my rehearsal Jenna. Mm-hmm. But in terms of performances like, yeah. and getting her ready for the show, it was fun. fun to and, be a part and of. you're enjoying it. You feel comfortable there. You like being a part yeah, of how, this. As comfortable as you can be being an abusive being, husband. Yeah. Well, so that <laughs> that was question yeah, too. Like, it's, um, uh, it's yeah, it's a they, hard role. Yeah. It's it's a family. It really is a family, and I uh, you know I've never replaced in a show before. And so, right, yeah. um, which is very lucky that I've always been able to originate right. things, but um, I'd never replaced. And so I was nervous about like, oh God, you know, it was like that first day of school thing when you go to a new school. I don't know if you ever did that. No, totally. Younger, oh but, yeah, my senior year of high school. Oh, I went awful. School. Yeah, it was really tough. Awful. <laughs> Thanks, mom. Yeah, I had braces all the way through <laughs> high school, so it was oh, like, yeah. yeah. No, you know. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I understand. I'm there for you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so I was nervous about meeting everybody, but it was like instantly. I mean, I had new people in the sure, show, in but the community, yeah. you know, you never know what you're coming into. Right. And especially in a show that's been a hit and has mm-hmm. been successful and it has people that are still there, right. which is usually a good testament to how good the company is. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we have people who have literally been there from opening night celebrating two years tonight. That's so cool. Molly Hager, Stephanie Torrance, right. Fitzgerald, yeah. Drew's been in and out. Right. And obviously the crew's there every yeah. night. So. 
No, and were you so where were, were you a fan of Sarah Bareilles previously I, before learning this? Yes, I mean yes. Who is that? Yeah, is I mean it? she's kind of uh, a phenom, mm -hmm. and um, I actually did a very early reading of this show. No way, yeah. really? As Earl, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so you knew a I knew, long time. Ago. I knew, and when there was some, you know, it's it. What's been fun is that. Uh, I was a part of it, and then I wasn't, as often happens in this business. You mm -hmm. know, things happen. And, um, but I went away, and when I came back, I was so interested. I hadn't seen it before I got the show, and right. not for any other reason other than being busy and sure. scheduling, and I have a baby now. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that child. Takes, takes up a little bit of time. Uh, a little yes. bit. Just a touch. <laughs> just in fact, I got to go. Uh, yeah. I know. We're keeping you. <laughs> um, but uh, I hadn't seen the show, and so it was so fun to come back and see how much had changed and what mm -hmm. got kept and everything. So it was really... Really fantastic, yeah. and I think they hit it out of the park yeah. with everything that's there. Absolutely, like as the as so the much. two year testament sort yeah. of says. Seriously, yeah. how often does that happen? No, and on the road, it's touring two it's years all over on Broadway. The place. Yeah, everyone gets to experience waitress, um, and yeah, now Sarah Bareilles is hosting now? Tonys. In, it, um, yeah, they're in Florida right now, and Catherine gets to announce the nominations. Right. Yeah. So it's like <laughs> we're getting waitress. <laughs> yeah, in you, there for the you're just owning it all. Yeah. Um, but as Matt sort of let us know in the beginning, you you made your Broadway de debut. You, that show, American Idiot, oh. opened almost eight year eight years ago on 420, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. yeah, last the so, last that, well, whatever day that was four days ago. Yeah, Friday. Friday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I got dad brain. I, like, no, that's I know. Four I saw days Harry is like a week and a half. That day, so oh, it's just tucked away. And, um, yeah, yeah, f yeah, eight years ago. Unreal, and oh, and that that wasn't lost on me when I was on stage right. on Friday night. I mean, that had to have been because you were a Green Day fan like My ahead of time, right? Life. So like, to make your Broadway debut, yeah, it was it was nuts because I did the workshops and the readings, mm -hmm. and then I went to Berkeley with it, and so you know when we left Berkeley, we all hoped that we were gonna get to be there, but we didn't. No. Didn't know, yeah. And so when we finally got to do it, it was, you know, that you only get one debut. Right. And there's nothing. I remember after the first preview, Christina, Saju, and I, who, I mean, out of that cast, you have Saju, who's gone on to be her. You got right. Alicia Umphress. You mm -hmm. have Stark. Stark you have Sands. Gallagher. You have right. Espert. You have Josh Henry, mm -hmm. who's probably going to get nominated for his whatever yes. ninth Karis. Karis. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. And, um, you know, and you have Miguel Cervantes mm -hmm. playing Hamilton in Chicago. And, and Andrew Call playing, I mean, Everyone has worked from that cast. Yeah. And it's just, I don't even know where I was going with this, but that well, was... Well, it was just a launching pad for so many of you. And, truly was. And a beloved show. And like, Saju and I, that's what it was. We just cried. We just cried after that first performance, you know, mostly from pain from that show. But yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty heavy, aggressive, <laughs> violent like show. nine-minute yeah. car wreck on your body. Um, right. I still can't feel my toes. But, uh, it, yeah, that, I mean, make your debut. Right. And, and it, again, and then when I take my bow, you know, waitress is my fourth. Like, mm -hmm. that's how right. I'm filled with gratitude for that. And American Idiot, also, like, you got to perform at the Grammys because of that show. You got yeah, to perform did, at the everything. Tony Awards because the, of that show. I mean, everything. that just took we you. We were everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. We were, we were at the Grammys before we were a show. Right. But that's where they announced that we <laughs> right. were coming to yeah. Broadway is on the Grammy Awards right. performing with Green Day. And then we got to do, you know, Monday Night Football. And we, mm -hmm. I mean, we did. What was meeting Billy Joe Armstrong like? Are you? Because I mean, if you were already a Green Day fan, that yeah, had I mean, to like, have been. Well, you, you know, when you when you meet somebody who you have looked up to and you followed initially, you're just kind of you're starstruck. Mm -hmm. And I definitely was. And you try to play it cool, but I not an ounce of coolness in me at that moment. Right. And then it turns out that he's the most generous human being on the face of the earth. Yeah. And really, you know, when he joined the show and even before that, he really found a family with us mm -hmm. and we with them. And it became this really beautiful relationship and he you know he's still the most one of the most generous human beings yeah. i've met and to see day. the way that he keeps like working with young people with the show and ki like it's incredible sure. what he does he, to he help kids into the arts he constantly gives back yeah and he right. understands the importance of the arts in yeah. education and no. it's really fantastic super cool um, but also another project of yours that i loved that was you know experimental for broadway holler if you hear me <laughs> i loved that show yeah, i know I that there had to have been people that talked to you afterward at the stage door scene i mean cuz there you hadn't see, there would have been nothing like that on no, Broadway, no. and there was a mold that you all broke, but which has sure. now trans. I mean, because now, like Hamilton, there is stuff well, that Hamilton borrowed from. For sure, and 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 I think that that show was just, just like a season or two early. Right, uh, agreed. And, yeah. and and the message is still important. I mean, mm -hmm. gun violence and you know, community violence, like that's yeah. still something that we deal with what on a daily basis mm -hmm. now. Um, I love that show. 
and, so special. And that show brought me my big brother and Chris Jackson, who like right. I look up to more than anybody in the world, fatherhood and business and everything. And um, so like at that show for me will always be and All the special. Part, my wife yeah. made her debut at the Palace. That's right. So that's right. Getting to be. In the same theater where mm-hmm. my wife performed, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, pretty, that's a, pretty neat. Yeah, that's that, that's one that's for the pretty list. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, you're an Okie. I am. You're, you're an Okie. Uh, mm-hmm. Tulsa, Oklahoma was. Now I know that you had done. Your grandparents ran a theater, right? Yes. In Look at in, you. in Oklahoma. Right. That's right. That's right. Always <laughs> researching <laughs> right over here. Um, so, and so was and, and then you studied theater in college. So yeah. was performing always the path that you were going to take? Because think, you were also like great at sports too, yes, right? I, Which is really a I <laughs> Ben, to be fair. <laughs> well, it, it was annoying. It the, was some of us are supposed to have the one thing, and was, then you guys get um, the other thing. But no, that's we. I'm I'm fortunate in that I found a school that allowed me to do both. Mm-hmm. You know, because many times you have to choose. Right. Yeah. Um. And I, looking back, you know, hindsight, I think that I was always destined to perform. Yeah. I mean, it was always like well, I loved doing it. I always loved doing it. I loved the idea of escaping into another character and became becoming someone else and mm-hmm. finding out what makes them tick. Um, and yeah, but sports were always there. Um, but I was never going to be a pro athlete. I mean, right. And uh, yeah, like yeah, I mean, well, the, and the passion like, it was probably different, right? Well, like, yeah, and you, you know, but you learn so much. You know, it. what's you know, there's always there. It's always either this or that. Mm-hmm. And and what I got out of doing both is that I got the lessons from both. I got the lessons of being on a team sport and how important it is to be a part of a team and what that means and how to be able to relate that to being a member of the cast. Whether you're in the ensemble, whether you're on the crew, whether you're the star of the show, you you understand what it means to be a part of something bigger than you. Mm -hmm. And, And I think that that's like one of the biggest lessons ever because even today on Broadway, you run into egos and things and you run into people who, I mean, I thankfully have rarely run into it. Mm-hmm. But you hear stories of people who are just, you know, egotistical out of their mind. Right. And, yeah. um, not fully understanding, like, not knowing members of the crew and their name. But the fact of the matter is, is when you walk into that theater, everybody is equally as important. N- one person out of that show, if you know, I think we have swings, which I think are the most important people in the oh, cast. Oh, I mean, the hardest working. 100%. Yeah, ab- absolutely. Like, yeah. not a question. And no. But like, you know, you always cover for each other, but like, if one thing is missing, then somebody else has to pick up that slack and then it becomes a whole thing. So we're all, it's all equal when you walk in that stage door, regardless right. of what you're doing. Uh, you know, all the way from front of house to back of house. Mm-hmm. And after studying theater, would you say, are you a champion of that kind of training, of kind of getting to know training, this yes. world that yeah, you're gonna become for, a part of? Um, sorry for interrupting, but no, yes, no, no, yeah. 100%. I, 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 you know, I don't think you can ever stop learning. If you wanna do this, and you know, most of the people who are watching this you know, have that dream, right. like you, you have to keep learning and you have to have that, that inner, that inner drive that just says, you know, nothing's going to stop me from achieving it. Mm-hmm. Not to say you're going to achieve it, but it may unlock a door and be like, Oh, I'm, I right. could be a great director or, Oh my gosh, I didn't, I had no idea I could design costumes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And so yeah, training is, you never stop learning, never right. stop learning. Even if like I'm reading a book and I'm reading about a ca- character that I'm like, Oh, this guy's really interesting. Like, what would he be like on stage? Right. Or what would he be like on film? Uh, so yeah, training, uh, yeah, I'm a big, big fan of it. Great. Big, big, big fan of it. And another, and I want to take, we'll start taking some questions from people that are watching in a second, but the other project that just keeps getting bigger and bigger, The Greatest Showman. Oh my gosh. You, I, one of my favorite hashtags of yours is the purple hoodie guy. Yeah. Because of that incredible video. That thing is taking off. Key, eight, I think over 18 million people Get out. have watched that video. 18. It's absolutely insane. And you, so you are on, that. you're in the soundtrack for that film, which is, I think, once again in the top of the UK album charts is right it back now. There? Yeah, I think it's back on number one right Man, now. And that movie guys, just it gets better. What was that experience working on that music and that? that? I, it was a, what a wild ride. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Because I got a, a random text message for, from Justin Paul. Mm hmm. On uh, like it was like a winter. It was like uh, Friday or something. He's like, "Hey, what are you doing next week? I want you to come in and record this demo." Number one, we had met like once or twice, um, and I had auditioned for he and Benj for Dogfight before okay, yeah, before it was yeah, yeah. before before you know early mm-hmm. on, um, and I don't know how he got my number, <laughs> but that was you know five years ago, four, five, six years ago, yeah, and uh, and he was like, "Come record this demo. It's for this thing." 
I'm like, okay. I mean, like, <laughs> yes. For this thing. Th- yeah. Yes, absolutely. Like, I would do anything for those two. Um, like, you always knew that they were going to be right. who they the are. The Oscar winners yeah. and Tony you always, winners. You always knew. <laughs> yeah. Um, and besides that, they're also just the amazing nicest. humans. Yeah, they amazing are. Amazing humans. Um, like, one of the few people who will always text me back is Justin Paul. Oh, know? good uh, show. He, um, so we went and recorded uh, Come Alive, I think it was. Mm-hmm. I think it was Come Alive. Um, and But I had we weren't really sure what it was, but then Hugh Jackman started singing in our ear, and we're like, Justin, what, what is this for? <laughs> man? Ah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just listen, you know. And then um, we did reading after reading after reading, like kind of almost biannually. We almost did it like yeah. two times a year. Wow. And thankfully, they asked me to be a part of it from the beginning. And I I could sing that music. Oh, it's so good. It's so yeah, good. it's incredible. I'm a flywheel instructor, and I play it in class. So do you like, that's how, good, that's how good it is. Like, <laughs> I listen just, to it all the time. Like, it's become yeah. just my default and, thing that I go to on Spotify. I'm like, I'll throw on some Kayla greatest Kayla deserves showmen. every bit oh, of in- everything that's coming her way. Incredible. That moment yeah. that that video, and if you haven't seen it yet, you should, it's, you should watch it. Because it's a great moment of just the power of honesty. Mm-hmm. And, like, when just really losing. You. Yeah, and really just losing yourself in the moment of the music and the song. Yeah. And, like... And we were all, I mean, that day, like, still, it just gives yeah, me I was chills and, like, like water ride. Right. Like, it's, it's really... You could tell something very special happened. was happening yeah, in there. Yeah, for that sure. That doesn't, that and, is once in a... And no, no one ever talks about it. I don't even know if I'm supposed to. Uh, but there was one of the readings where she finished singing, and the head of Fox walked up and was like, you just booked yourself this movie. Wow. And yeah, like, well, I mean... None what, of us what, could what, hear that, but, like, she, like... Yeah. Later on, I had found out that's what oh. happened. And, like, she she's... From the beginning of that thing, yeah. you know, she was, it was hers. she was Letty. Yeah, no, that's, it's amazing. Oh, I have goosebumps. Matt, what are, what are some of the, the viewers and the Ben Thompson fans wanting to know? Lots of things. <laughs> Hi, Matt. Um, oh yeah, Matt's here. Oh yeah, that's Matt. <laughs> um, okay, so Elise wants to know, if you could listen to one Broadway cast album for the rest of your life, which one would you choose and why? Oh, gosh. I mean, I'm going to sound really egotistical here. I don't mean to, yeah. but I would listen to that American Idiot album. It's amazing. It's, I, yeah. I just would. It's so well done. And it's it, really yeah, well done. Yeah, well, we, we recorded at Electric Ladyland Studios, yeah. like where Jimi mm-hmm. Hendrix recorded, and we took like, you know, a lot of times Broadway, they do it in like two days, or like mm-hmm. a day. We did it in like a week, two weeks. Oh, like we wow. took We took a long time to do it. And um, it's how, and I just, you know, it's my debut. And I will never forget, I will never forget, I had my whole family there, mm. you know, which is rare. Like, I was able to buy them tickets to opening night. and oh, That's so cool. Special. Um, so I'm going to say one that I'm on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> um, Corinna wants to know, do you prefer the movie, Waitress, or the show? Have you seen the movie? I have seen the movie. You know, that's tough. That's tough to say. I mean, Adrian Shelley's in the movie. And, yeah. and, you know, that's why I think that Don is such a special character in our show, because it's the most, the closest you get to Adrian. Right. Yeah. Um, I, I, but, you know, Sarah's music, Whew. it's also it's... paying my rent. <laughs> so, and the show sounds good. <laughs> the show. <laughs> they also just see it, like, they, they are so well married to one another. Like, Sarah's True. music to that the story Truly. is just, like, and, you and, would never know. And, and if you're a fan of the movie, you're going to love the show. Absolutely. And if you're a fan of the show, you're going to love the movie. Right. Like, it's not one of those things where it's either or. And so, I, you know, I, personally, I will say the show, just because I've also, you know, done it a bunch now, but, mm-hmm. and Sarah's music. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, say, I'll stick with the show. Great. Good question, though. Um, Kelly, what other role would you want to replace currently on Broadway? Ooh. King George. I knew it. I knew. <laughs> I, the second, I knew. I knew. And, the, and this is why. This is why. Andrew Call is playing it in Chicago right now. And he's like, he is? Of, yeah, he's one of my dear <laughs> friends. And what, what's funny is that our dressing room from American Idiot has all, they've all been in it except for me in Chicago. So it's Miguel, like to be. Right. Josh Henry, uh, Wallace, and wow. Andrew. Yeah. Wow. And yeah, so yeah, yeah. Wallace Smith. Um, yeah. And, 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 but also after playing Trunchbull, I feel like it's like a, like the next step. <laughs> like, <laughs> like after that, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I feel like, yeah. And yeah. why not just keep playing villains, <laughs> right? Yeah, might as well, uh, you know. And that's a good track too. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's the Earl track. Oh yeah, yeah. you know what right, I mean? Exactly. I have an hour and fifteen minute break in the <laughs> right, <just> say. <laughs> an hour and fifteen minutes. <laughs> Unheard of. Yeah, it's like Bach. Um, I get a lot done. <laughs> uh, Trevor wants to know any mishaps with the prop guitar in Waitress. 
Oh. Funny story about the guitar, but didn't you learn to play guitar? You like lied and yes. said, I can play guitar to the Pump Boys and Dinettes yes, team. And, yeah. and then you had to learn it in like two weeks. Yeah, I did I did Pump Boys and Dinettes <laughs> out in Colorado. Um, and uh, my friend Joel Farrell called me and, and he started off by saying, you don't ever say this to an actor. Hey, I got a job for you. I was like, automatically I'm gonna yeah. say yes, yes to whatever comes yeah. next. Um, you play the guitar, right? Sure. <laughs> I didn't. He didn't tell me what show it was. You were just he like, yeah. I was like, it'll be like a song. Like it'll be like, bing, 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 bing. Strum Great. a little thing. You know what I mean? I'll be covered by the orchestra. It'll be fine. Right. And he's like, Great. I'll send you the score. Uh, and you know, we start rehearsal in like two weeks. I'm like, okay. He sends me the score, and I get realize what it is. And for those of you who don't know, with Pump Boys and Dinettes play the entire show <laughs> on stage. Yeah, just. And so I, my then girlfriend at the time, now wife, uh, Kat and I went out and like bought a guitar right now that I still have. In fact, I get everybody to sign it who comes and works at the show. Like Sarah signed it, Catherine signed it. The same it. guitar? I got all of Green Day. Yeah, I got all of Green Stop Day to sign it. it. I've got oh like Chris Baird from the Spin Doctors, Melissa Ether, every, That's Yeah, it's, 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 so it's my I love special that. guitar. That's so cool. Um, but I went out and like bought a guitar and like taught myself play. Like I had a huge like lump on the back of my leg. My fingers were bleeding. <laughs> yeah, right. And then we got to the first day of rehearsal. You know, the first, the first riff is bam, 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 bam. And it's, it's Jim, it's my part. And the guy's like, all right, go. And I'm like, I don't, I don't know the riff yet. And he's like, what do you mean? I was like, I just don't know it yet. I know it's an E chord. And he's like, okay. And it slowly dawned on them. Started to realize. <laughs> yeah. But I, but I knew, I knew it all. Right. But I right. wasn't a player yet. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So, but that was, a, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Ballsy. So, that is um, ballsy. <laughs> no, the only mishap that has happened with the guitar at our show is that one night I picked it up and forgot how to play it. Like, I picked it up, and I was like, what chords do I play? <laughs> and there's glow, there's glow tape on it. And so I was like, okay, so it's either that fret or this fret, and I hit the wrong one. <laughs> one of the two. I hit the wrong one, and Kevin looked at me like, it was like her second show, too. <laughs> Poor thing. Her first week, I forgot how to play the guitar one night, and then I changed the words to Sarah's song. I just, like, started the second verse early. It's like, so... Her, just to keep her on her toes. Just to keep her on her toes. This is how it is on Broadway, yeah. baby. That's something Earl would do. It's all, exactly. it's all in the character of Earl. Thing. I was like, oh, she hates me. Um, <laughs> Caitlin wants to know, do you have a favorite songwriter that you'd love to have write a musical? Great. Oh, man. That's I mean, a great question. Ben Folds. Yeah. Mm. Um... I mean, Sarah's done one. So yeah. That's good. I'd love to. Jason. Jason, I was going to say. say Jason Mraz, Jason, don't even get me started. Don't amazing. even get me started um, on that one. Chris Barron of the Spin Doctors. Yes, I love he's that idea. Really, he's like lyrically prolific. I like love that guy that has idea. like notebooks and notebooks and notebooks of of music. So wow. he'd be he'd definitely be up there for sure yeah. too. Yeah, go the Duncan Cheek, Sarah yeah. Bareilles yeah. track, yeah. absolutely. I mean, and it hit, and he's so he's just so well read and so smart. It'd be, it, that'd be fascinating. Yeah, Chris, well, get on it. Elise <laughs> wants to know what's your favorite song and waitress, besides Earl's song. Yeah, um, <laughs> my, you know, my songlet. <laughs> um, uh, God, that's tough. Um, we sing. Bad idea to our daughter all the time. Really? Which is kind of fun. I have a seven month old. Um, she's not like 14. <laughs> yeah. like, she's like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, um, she's made I mean, her Broadway debut. I've seen that. Yeah, she, That's we got her on stage. <laughs> uh, she used to be mine. Obviously, mm -hmm. is great. What Bacon Can Do is fun. It's a great yeah. way to start the show well, off, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, all of them. I was going to say, that's what I love about that show, is what you decide is your favorite song from that show just changes. Like yeah. you, you you transition into a yeah, new favorite. You, just, you, you every, never know. So often. Mm -hmm. I love them all. It's so beautiful. And I get to just sit and listen to them all night, yeah. which is great. No stress about singing a single one. You're like, <laughs> except mine. <laughs> except for yours. Which I don't remember the words to anyway, <laughs> so that's great. <laughs> And well, on that note, Ben, <laughs> thank you so very much thank for stopping by. Happy two year birthday to Yay! the folks over at Waitress. Go see it at the Brooks Atkinson Theater. Go see Ben Thompson as Earl. Go see it all. Thank you again thank so, you so much. much. Great, so great chatting for with you. Me. The seat is yours. Come Appreciate back anytime it. you I would like. Love that. Absolutely. I'll Matt, bring my daughter. <laughs> please do. And Matt, why don't you take us out? Y'all know the deal. We do this every single weekday at 5 p.m. here on Broadway.com's Facebook page, which then goes out on YouTube and on our website and the TV and all those places. We also release this as a podcast. So if you want to listen instead of watch, you can subscribe to the Live at Five podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Join us tomorrow when Ben Crawford from Phantom is here. It's the Ben Week here at uh, Live at Five. Uh, happy, today's Tuesday? Happy Tuesday, everybody. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye.